Hey guys, what's up? So I'm starting a segment where I do five games with a single list. So before I used to do 50 games, but it was too long and it's so hard to record the whole thing. But with five games, it's way easier. Alright, so in this video, I'm gonna feature two decks that I used recently for this five games thing. And the first one would be Enrage Warrior. So I had a 3-2 record with this, so it's 60% win rate. But of course, if we extend it, it might not be as good. Although, on recorded games, I've had like 6-0 and 7-0 streaks with this. So it's still a pretty good deck, but maybe in the long run, it's not that consistent. So why is it not that consistent? I think it just runs out of steam, especially if you go against some decks that have taunt. So a Cartooth Defender is so hard to deal with with this deck. Um, you want to win with Corcoran Elite and you know the, the whole Inner Rage combo into copying it with Bloodsworn Mercenary. But if you get across a Cartooth Defender or even a Bone Wraith, I mean what decks use this? Of course you have Priest. Uh, Resurrect Priest isn't that common, but you'd queue them once in a while. Uh, if you go against Highlander Mage or... Yeah, Highlander Mage would run Cartoon Defender. So, it's really hard, but against aggro decks, I think it's pretty good. You have tons of card draw in the form of Battle Rage and Cutting Class. And you could just sweep uh, like an aggro rogue board with Risky Skipper and... Most of the time, you'll win against those matchups, but the matchups that are hard, and especially hard, would be the Taunt guys. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this deck. It's good. I wouldn't say it's bad uh, in any sense, though I think it might dip into tier 2 or a tier 1.5 deck at best. The next is my Broom Paladin list. I played 5 games with this and I got 4-1. So 4-1 is actually really good. Um, I still streak with this. Uh, just now, I have, I have a 9-0 run again with this. This is the, the same exact deck list that I have to get a 12-0 run. And I think it's really, really good. So, more tips to note. Stone Tusk Boar is really a surprise in ladder. And I've won a game where the opponent was down to 15 or 16 and I won with a Stone Tusk Boar and a, a juiced up Lady Liadrin that gave me tons of Librum of Wisdoms or Librams of Wisdom, whatever. So Stone Tusk Boar, you gotta keep this uh, at all costs. Try not to use it early game because this will be your surprise factor to win against a seemingly hopeless type of situation, alright? So I think that's pretty much it. These are both good lists. You could try them out on ladder, although I still recommend the Librum Paladin more. And I have the videos for the five um, decks, sorry, the five games for these deck lists, so check them out. And it's just gameplay, but you might pick up a lot from it. Uh, it's not the, it's not my best performance, but I hope you enjoy. So thank you so much, and please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I'll see you again next time.